Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So glad that you found my backup for Anna's thoughts and musical parodies here at Anna Speaks Out. Thank you so much for being here. As a reminder, you can express your resolve to be done with the mass madness with one of these eco-friendly cotton t-shirts, this organic tote bag, a coffee mug that you can bring to the office or wherever else you might go, or this water bottle for when you go outside and get some fresh air without a mask on. The link for the merch store will be in the description. Thank you so much in advance to anyone who decides to support in this way. And now let's get all the way into today's video. So. Technically, we're supposed to be following our leaders, right? The people in charge. Well, if the people in LA County want to be doing that, I guess nobody should be wearing a mask because this 2022 Super Bowl is now the second time recently that LA Mayor Eric Garcetti has been seen without a mask on in a public uh, group setting. As a reminder, the first time Governor Gavin Newsom also joined in on the fun at some other I think football game, some other kind of sports game, where they were hanging out with Magic Johnson. Honestly, I don't even know what sport he plays. And so, you know, if we're supposed to follow and respect our leaders, then nobody in California should be wearing a mask at all, especially in a group setting. And uh, that first time where Gavin Newsom joined Mayor Eric Garcetti was actually the thing that inspired the Oakland High School mask protest that I made a video about recently, if you haven't seen that yet. But yeah, according to the New York Post, the vast majority of celeb attendees watching the Rams' victory had their faces cover-free. And Dan O'Donnell, a talk radio host, tweeted about Mayor Garcetti at the Super Bowl. This is the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, at the Super Bowl. He is indoors. He is also maskless. So yeah, I guess that's what we're doing now here in California. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. Apparently, way back in July of 2020, actress Charlize Theron thought that we should wear masks. She posted this on her Instagram saying, don't be an ass, wear a damn mask. But she's clearly changing with the times, you know, following Eric Garcetti and Gavin Newsom's lead, because this was her at the Super Bowl just uh, the other day. But somebody in the comments had some strong words for her, and that wasn't the only person. But no big deal. She also posted this photo of herself at the Super Bowl onto her Instagram page. And here are some other celebrities who were hanging out, enjoying the new no mask thing that's going on here in California. Just enjoying the fresh air and breathing freely. Oh, but you know what? Actually, it's interesting. And uh, maybe I was a little confused about all this because... Actually, also according to the New York Post, the California City's Health Department had repeatedly noted that masks will be required at the stadium for Sunday's big game, and even gave out upgraded KN95 ones to people. There was actually a local mandate on masks. Who would have been able to tell? But you know, come to think of it, I guess I have actually seen evidence of that in some other places recently in California. So we can stop, so we can stop wearing masks. Yes. Stop the segregation. Yes. Breathe. Yes. Fresh air. Not carbon dioxide inside our masks. I just want to start crying. It's really, really frustrating knowing um, that the kids are being abused. And they're breathing in their own air from these masks. It's not healthy. Melissa Solano's family all had COVID during Thanksgiving, and their daughters had a tough time with the mask at school. I don't like masks because that it's harder for me to breathe. Her mom says she fainted because she was dehydrated, and the mask didn't help. She and others would like no masks at school and say their kids are coming home in tears. Have your kids had any health issues but because they wore a mask. Absolutely. First of all, uh, I believe the kids, uh, it's affecting them mentally, emotionally, and physically. Physically, her daughter is developing a rash around her mouth and her chin. She blames the mask. Izzy's mom and others tell us the masks have been a mess. I think a lot of learning is the facial expressions, um, and that's a harm that cannot be undone. The kids need to be unmasked when they're outdoors. They are running, they are playing hard. You know, they, we need this. The parents are critical of Sunday's Super Bowl at SoFi Stadium and the lack of masking there. 
They think more attention needs to be paid to kids like Izzy. So yeah, California has still been trying to force the kids who have been the entire time the least at risk um, and developing like the most mild cases of the virus. They're still trying to force them to comply with the mask madness. Just today, February 15th, 2022, California did one of their segregated mandate lifting things again, but the kids are still fresh out of luck with that. One week from today, you can toss those face coverings if you're vaccinated. If you're vaccinated, the governor's office made that announcement yesterday as COVID cases in California are down 65%. But there is a catch. It depends on your county's own masking rules because local governments, they can still have their indoor mask mandates in place if they so choose. So a week from today, we're talking February 15th. If you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear that mask. But for the unvaccinated, you will still be required to wear masks indoors. And everyone, regardless of your vaccination status, you will still have to wear a mask in higher risk settings. We're talking like public transportation, healthcare settings, jails, and obviously in schools. And obviously in schools. Stop the segregation. Yes. Free. Thank you again so much for being here today. Since you liked the video enough to watch it all the way to the end, don't forget to click the thumbs up and share with somebody else who would also find it interesting. Leave your comments below and we'll all have a conversation. And if you really enjoyed it, click the link in the description for several different ways that you can support and get some cool stuff for yourself. Have a wonderful night, afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time zone you are in. And I will see you next time. Bye.